Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial. Um, this is following up after my Mac tutorial and this is how to use the automatic mod installer to install the Battlefield mod. So, so I'm going to be posting a server tutorial um, in the next video but yeah so I know that a lot that it is very, I have found it very hard to open jar files on Windows so I'm going to show you how to, how to open it and install the mod properly. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing we got to do is jump on the internet and grab and grab the mod. So, jump on the plant Minecraft. And, and do whatever you have to do to find the mod. I'm logged into or Jake Dev, so which means it should be just right here because uh, as I am subscribed. Hey guys, don't forget to check out Rogetic Dev as well. It's my it's my other it's my other channel that it's my other account that I run separate from Mod Masters, and I post some pretty cool stuff there. And it's a lot of cool stuff to come as well. So, okay, I'm sorry, I'm using a Windows emulator on a Mac, so that's why this is probably running. It's probably why this is running so slow. But yeah, so so you gotta hit download mod. At once, once again, I'm gonna say it's again if rep if you want to download the uh, properly use the raw file button if you want to install it on a server or if you want to install it manually but if you want to use the automatic installer then just click on download so you should get a zip a zip fo folder which you should get a zip folder which hopefully I can open properly Alright, here we go. So, so when you open it, guys, don't forget. Uh, you probably already know this if you if you use Minecraft, but don't forget you need Java to use the installer. I can't believe I didn't mention that in my last video. Yeah, so what I'd recommend you doing is just dropping this out of the file of the zip file, and here it is. So. For most for most PC users, if you don't have J, for most PC users, if you double click on on a jar file, nothing will happen. I know some of you have been stupid and tried to redefine it like that. Yeah, that will just happen. CMD will flash up for a second, then nothing. So what this is what you have to do. You have to go into your start menu, type CMD, and what you have to do is you have to open command prompt. Now, guys, you could do a Google search for this, but and I, I don't actually know. I think this might require JDK, which is just another extra little download. But yeah, if this might work for some people, it might not work for others. And that's why the raw file button's there. So if this if this does not work, then you just do that. So what you're going to type in is Java dash jar. Then you go to type a space. Then you go grab your little Battlefield jar file here, and you go throw it on there and press enter. So this is what should happen. Don't close CMD by the way. Just leave it running in the background. So you should get this one window up here for a second, and then here we go. This is the the main the main thing. So so you have our nice battlefield do you want to install this mod so what you're going to do is click install so it should come up with this it should say successfully installed battlefield but if you installed a, a previous version of the mod it sh this should come up it should say it appears you already have the mod installed do you want to reinstall it if you and if you do you just click yes and also if you don't have forward installed it will prompt you to install it as well 
And also, if you want to get rid of the, rid of the, if you don't like the mod, which is totally okay, and you want to get rid of it, you can just oh, you just follow this method again and click this uninstall button, and it will uninstall the mod. So there you go, guys. Um, that is how to install the Battlefield mod on Windows. So as I said, I think you need JDK, and if you don't have the patience to go and get to go and get JDK, or you just don't feel like it, don't don't forget you can use the raw file button and do it the long way. So, and okay, guys. So oh, my next tutorial will be how to install the mod on a server. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.